Hi thinkers, welcome to the data structures in Python course on ThinkX Academy. In this video, we are going to start with uh, one more uh, important aspect of Bellman Ford algorithm, which is to check negative cycles. So we have already covered this whole program uh, of Bellman Ford algorithm, uh, where we have seen how we can actually find the shortest path. The best thing about the Bellman Ford algorithm is that it works for negative weights also, for which the Jigstra's algorithm will fail. So Bellman Ford is also helpful in one more important thing which is to detect whether there is a negative cycle. So let's discuss what is a negative cycle but before moving to that let's first understand this adjustment formula. So this adjustment formula is actually the formula that we were using in the Bellman Ford algorithm so where, which you can see here that if the cost is actually less than the cost of neighbor and we defined cost as the cost of reaching the source node and the edge of the source to the neighbor right. So here you can see that I have already written this uh, adjustment formula here which says that if cost of source plus the edge from source to neighbor is less than the cost of neighbor we are going to reassign and readjust the neighbor and we already we have already seen that we will have to do n minus one number of times where n is the number of vertices so we need to do this adjustment to all the nodes right so we will pick up each and every node and we will keep doing that for n minus one times right so you can see here i was picking here each and every node each and every neighbor and i was assigning it uh, according to this condition right now let's see what is a negative cycle and how we can actually just write a, a simple condition and we can check whether there is a ne negative cycle in the graph now let's consider a graph situation here which we have uh, let's say we have three nodes one two three and from one to two i have an edge and from two to three i have an edge and let's say uh, this actually has a weight of two and let's say this has a weight of uh, negative one right so initially we will uh, just make sure that we have zero infinite infinite so these are the cost and let's assume that this is our source so the uh, cost of reaching the source is zero right now we know that we need to apply uh, this uh, adjustment formula to all these nodes n minus one time so n is actually three here so i need to do two adjustments right so i need to do uh, adjustments two times so first time let's start with the first adjustment so we start with the first node which is one we reach to two and you can see the cost is zero plus two so cost is zero plus two and we can see that it is less than infinite so i'm going to reassign it right again i will now pick two three right so two two three i have an edge minus one so what i will do is two minus one right i will check it with the cost of neighbor according to this condition that i'm given here so two minus one is one again it is less than infinite so i'm going to reassign this value to one right now i will do this uh, this adjustment once again right so once again i will start with this node and now i'm going to check whether the if i try to add zero plus two uh, is it lesser than the cost the answer is no so if it is not lesser than we're not going to readjust let's move on to the next node two again two minus one is one so it is again equal to one so uh, here we don't need to do this adjustment right so uh, you can see after two adjustments uh, right uh, if i try to do one more cycle and if i to do uh, let's say uh, n number of adjustments right so if after two adjustments we are actually getting the shortest uh, path so we know that Bellman ford algorithm says that if you do this adjustment n minus one number of times you will be able to get the shortest path right uh, but what will happen if I try to do it more times, right? So let's say instead of two times uh, doing this adjustment, if I try to do it 10 times, uh, the result will not change, right? The result will remain same. Uh, we will never get a condition which is this condition adjustment formula so if this condition is never going to occur we don't need to actually take uh, the other adjustments right so minimum number of adjustments needed is n minus one but there is a condition that violates this rule which is a negative cycle so let's assume a negative what is ex uh, let's see what exactly is a negative cycle so let's say i have an edge from three to one and let's say it has a value minus four right so the edge has a value minus four so let's try to do two adjustments because we have uh, we know that Bellman Ford says do adjustment two times so we need to do adjustment two times so in the first time uh, we did this so now uh, in after first iteration this one minus four is actually and we are going to check it with this zero so we are considering the edge three one now this uh, is actually minus three and we know that minus three is less than zero. So now we are going to change it and we are going to make it minus three here, right? So now we have done the adjustment for uh, one time. Now let's do it again. So minus three plus two is actually minus one. So minus one is less than two. I'm going to reassign to minus one. Again, minus one minus one is zero. I'm going to assign it zero. Then we have zero and minus one here. So I'm going to say that, okay, zero minus four is minus four. So I'm going to reassign this to minus four, right? So now I'm done with all the adjustments right i've done with n minus one adjustments and that's where the bellman ford algorithm will stop so you can see here in the form uh, in this year i've written for i in range five so in our example we had actually six nodes which is a b c d e f right but you can see here in this for loop i'm just uh, running this adjustments five times right so five times i will do this adjustment 
now my question is what will happen if i do the sixth ad adjustment right so uh, here if i do one more adjustment uh, the benjamin ford algorithm says it will not make any change right the cost will remain the same so this condition will never uh, will be always will never evaluate to be true so there will be no adjustments right but in case of negative cycle you will observe that if you even try to do n number of adjustments right so after let's say some adjustments you try to do n number of adjustments you will observe that the costs keep changing right so here you can see we have minus four and now we have this graph now again let's say one more time i try to uh, do the adjustment so minus four and two gives me minus two and again you can see that this value will need to change right so this value will be changed to minus two here and then this value is actually minus three so it will change to minus three this will change to minus seven so if i do it in finite number of times this value will keep decrementing because it is a negative cycle we will not be able to reach the shortest distance right we will never be able to get the right shortest distance which is the main reason why we have a negative cycle right so if i have a negative cycle here we can say that here if i start we we are not going to get to a position where no more adjustments are needed right uh, so what i'm going to do is in the program here i'm just going to say that okay uh, here i'm just going to iterate over all the edges so now let's say i've performed the bellman ford algorithm uh, n minus one times so if i found that there is a change in the a graph right if there is a change in the adjustments right so if i do n plus one at adjustment or uh, the more adjustments and if i see that there's a change in the cost of the neighbors and uh, if i see that this adjustment formula is actually coming out to be true it means there are more adjustments that can be done and it means there is a negative cycle right so i can just write a condition for the negative cycle right and negative cycle we can check very simply so after we have done all the adjustments right so here you can see all the adjustments are done till this line and here what i can just do is i can just say that uh, i will pick up each and every edge from the graph by using this two lines right which i was also using here so for itr in graph we'll pick up each and every node a b c d and i will just check for neighbor in graph itr so i'm going to check all the neighbors let's say i'm at a i will check b c and d and now what i will do is i'll write this condition that if the cost of the node is actually and if i add it to the edge if it is again less than this then it means there is again a change inside of the cost right so if that is the case we are going to say that there is a negative cycle so i'm going to print here negative cycle detected and i will simply return out here from here so that uh, we can say that there is no shortest path or shortest distance right and here in this program you can see i have this uh, here and here if i try to read adjustment and make a cycle here from uh, e to d let's say i have a negative six so there will be a cycle so i've already drawn the graph in the previous tutorial uh, and you can check that graph and uh, from that graph if you draw an edge from e to d you will have minus uh, if you have one edge with minus six then you will get a negative edge right and you will get a negative cycle so this program should actually detect that so let's try to run this now so i'm just going to clear this up and here i'm just going to run this and now you can see that it actually detects a negative cycle so you can see here it actually uh, is saying negative cycle detected and it is not giving any shortest distance right so that's all for this tutorial thanks for watching